Hey, what's up? I'm still Tree. I'm Marin. I'm Maya. I'm Claire. We're from Duchenne. This piece is called Verbs, and it is about our amazing creative writing teacher and slam poetry moder moderator, Mrs. Kate Summer. She liked verbs. She oozed them. An orchestra of action words. I remember hearing her. The way she bumbled breaths when we shared our hearts in the form of pen strokes. The way her pencil giggled across the paper. I remember how she would smile when we were finished. Half moon of white teeth and, and praise. And she would invoke her own personal prayer. Shall, Shall we say it together, ladies? And we would. Verbs! We cradled the afternoon, stuffed them with the stories we had stuck under our tongues and cramped under fingernails. She was the one who taught me that I could unhinge those stories, that I could pour them and make it all beautiful in the end, in the end. We expected those stories to go on forever. A never-ending tale, open-ended artistic creation like the unfinished poems we had left limitless so many times before. We thought she was limitless. And she was, I suppose. Sitting in her desk, sunlight washing her golden. She was the first one who, who taught me how to write. I was raw, inky, a mess. mess. And she made me legible. She made all of us realize that writing is, is the, the only, only remedy. remedy. Remedy for sleepless eyelids. And stress. And futures too far ahead to be found. And the constant founding of society saying there is no remedy for, for being, being different. different. There is no remedy for cancer. She said so. Slow, letting it seep from only unguarded pores. She seemed solid, concrete. She, she was, was a verb. She, she would, would never stop. She would never die. But die is a verb, too. All insubordinate deeds. Slithery eye. It, it is, is dull, dull, final, cold. And she was none of those things. She does not deserve to dwindle down to the word die. die. Because she is still alive. When I close my eyes, I see her sitting in that desk. Woven into the woodwork of the room, truly. I do not think she ever left. Because remembering is, is a, a verb, verb too. She, she is still a verb. She is listen. Her imagination leapt from line to line. When you were done, she would look at you with a sparkle in her eye and grateful ears. She thanked you for sharing but I never thanked her for listening. She is swaddle, wrapping our minds in her heart, cloaking us in each other's words, because to nine girls who dreamt in language, her classroom was a spirit made home. She is bubbling, filling the air with a thousand and one fluorescent possibilities. There is nothing outside of room 209. We are cocooned in a symphony of stanzas. Watch the world float by. She will always be in this bubble. In our minds, she is still our creative writing. Slam poetry. Teacher. Friend. friend. In, in our, our minds, minds, she is still moving forward. She will never stop being our verb. Hey, June. Take a side. All right, y'all, give it up for Duchenne.